Hey, my super beautiful, lovely, gorgeous souls. Welcome to my haunted edition. Today I'm bringing you guys a reading for what spooked your twin flame away, what scared them away, your soul connection person, your twin flame. What is it that scared them away? What spooked them? What happened with the mirroring? Because a lot of the time that's what is the major thing that spooks them, that sends them running. Why did they feel the need to run or go because of this? We'll talk about that. And then what you need to know for your own healing and to ease your fears and uh, we've got the zombie tarot and we've got the ghost tarot and we've got my wise witch's oracle and we've also got these beautiful magical times empowerment cards and my mirror of shadows so let's see i'm gonna pull some zombie cards too what sort of scared them away what was the thing that scared them away Oh, we got a jumpers. Okay. Well, I feel like there was some more lessons that they needed to learn. Definitely some more life lessons. I feel like they were not being equal with you and not being balanced with you. They didn't have equal in their own life. So it's like they had to go learn about it. Like they have to go learn about it. I also feel like they were not truthful with you. And that, you know, telling the truth may have scared them away actually coming out with the truth coming clean was something that i feel like they could not do and i feel like for them they used this as their crutch and it's easier to run but they're learning major lessons out there in the world i also feel like karmics have to sort of be had like karmic relationships sort of have to be had i feel like there may be a karmic that they're tied into or they were tied into at the time that they were talking to you or now in this time now because I'm feeling like this karmic has to happen and then they're back more on that path of like self-discovery self-enlightenment and and what have you okay so let's see yeah because I feel like they are not responsible at this time they were not responsible so I feel like having to be like depended on or having to be needed was a, a fear of theirs like I feel like they feel like being responsible is boring. They don't want to have anything to do with that right now. They kind of just want to like live and be and not answer to anybody. I feel like that was their energy when they were with you. So if you wanted more of a solid thing from them, I feel like they wanted to have the control about when that was going to happen and, and what the terms of it were going to be. Almost like signing a contract to be with this person. Like we talk about this all the time, soul contracts. This is very possible that this separation in this time period or right now in time is happening because it's part of the soul contract part of the part of the pack i feel like that you guys made was to honor each other and be responsible with each other and outside of each other okay does that make any sense i'm also feeling like this is fueled very much so by aries energy very hard Aries energy. So I feel like they may be hard headed. They may be somebody that has to have their fame and fortune and glory before they can settle down and be in love. Um, and it does not have to resonate masculine or feminine. We're just talking about the connection between your souls. Okay. So let's see what else we got with this. Yeah, we've got devil energy, temptation. So it's very possible that they were afraid that if they committed to you in the energy they were in, they may have been tempted away from you. They still could be tempted, could have been tempted away from you. But I feel like they definitely were fearful to commit. There's definitely codependency shit with them. I also feel like they don't want to be tied down and lose their freedom. They're fearful of that. I feel like they're also fearful they're going to make mistakes. They're going to fuck up. They're not going to be good enough. They have a lot of insecurities that they're working out. But when this person comes forward like with these insecurities, I feel like you know you need to know why and that makes them feel weak so you might not know why they might not be able to ever voice to you exactly how they're feeling or what they want to say they might have a hard time with that is what i'm getting from spirit but yeah definitely temptations definitely fears definitely control so i feel like there was control issues here with this as well um somebody wanting to control all of the relationship having all the control i do feel like this is the person in questions energy um let's see what else we get Let's see what was mirrored. Well, what's a major issue with them that 
makes them not be able to carry on this perfect connection with you. Because if we're talking about twin flames, we get into that right energy together. That is the perfect connection. So you have had a glimpse of that and so much feels so empty because you're missing that. So what was mirrored? What is a major issue with them? So we've got, I'm afraid to believe in others. And you know what? That fear of trust goes way beyond relationships. This could be with everybody, friends, family. So just know that they're struggling with this. And they were definitely struggling with it while they were with you and the energy you guys were in. They definitely were struggling with this. They're still struggling with it. Inner child work. So they've got some inner child wounds. So this could stem back very far for them. And we've got this helplessness feeling. I never learned to be self-sufficient. So, you know, they may have had permissive parents when they were growing up and they weren't responsible for a lot because I'm getting responsibility is a huge like slap in the face energy to them at this time because they have gotten away with bare minimum for so long. I feel like even in your connection with them, every connection, I feel like they've gotten away with bare minimum. They're kind of skating by. They're kind of having it easy all the time. So not having it easy is really making them crazy. And they're needing to learn this so badly. So when we look at these, these are the lessons that need to be learned real badly here, okay, before they can come back to you. That's really what it is. And we don't know how long that's going to take, you know. It could take however long they've decided in their contract with you or with someone else. How long? That's kind of it's kind of like one person learns a lesson in a day, another person takes them a lifetime, you know? Yeah, and you also want to be careful of manipulation with this person. They may blind you in ways that you have never really understood, but you might be starting to understand that now. They might be have they might have been in an energy where they felt like they needed to keep you blind to certain behaviors. That's what I'm getting. They they kept you blind only to like certain behaviors that they were doing, certain things that they were um, refusing to see themselves and not speaking up about shit and not letting you speak up about shit or you were not able to speak up about what you wanted to. There's definitely a feeling like, look at this, this doll is like restricted, no talking, no seeing. It's like being left in the dark, but the person that's doing that to you is manipulating you in the same instance, if that makes any sense. So why did they need to run or go? Let's get a zombie hero for that. Wow, so we've got the star here. So interesting, they have a lot of healing to be, be done, a lot of healing to be had, I like to say. You know, I feel like they were chasing other things that they thought were going to be better in the moment. I feel like they're very much still an opportunist. They very much have self-interest in mind. They're very self-focused and self-centered in this energy. They want to be top dog. I feel like they're fighting for this in life. And if they don't feel like they are, like if they don't feel their worth in their career life, in their money life, in their security life, they feel like shit. That's what I'm getting. They need to feel important. They need to feel like they're, you know, valued. So they may be an ego energy where they're in that, like, I said, like that ego and narcissistic kind of like where they want all this attention, and they want all this validation and they want to be recognized, but they're not recognizing the pain within themselves. Um, we've also got three of swords. Yeah. So some, so some type of a betrayal, some type of third party situation it doesn't have to be romantic. It could be their job was between you and them or lack of a job was between you and them or a parent or a brother or sister or an ex. Yes, it can be any of those people, any of those things or situations, there was definitely something blocking the two of you being together and being happy. I get that there was a lot of grief, a lot of grief, a lot of hardship, a lot of heartache. So they're in their own problems too, is what I'm getting. They have their own heartaches, issues, troubles, problems, betrayals. It's just too much for them. I feel like they're so overly focused on their life and what's happening and what they're trying to prevent from happening than to be able to give you the attention that you so desire and need. They just don't know how. So let's see, um, you know, what is something possibly from all of this that you need to heal inside? Something that, you know, 
might help you. And we've got sort of a fear of change. I have a habit of getting stuck in my own way. So don't let this block you any longer. Twin flame or not, soul connection or not, don't, you know, stick around waiting for somebody that's not giving you, you know, what you desire. And don't be afraid of that change because that change could lead you to an ultimately greater change and greater situation is what I'm getting from spirit. Let's see some things possibly that you can do to help ease your, uh, heal your insides or ease your fears a little bit. Mm, look at that power believe in your own power to change things yeah you have the power to make all the necessary changes and make shit work and go with the flow of good in the universe absolutely Ooh, we've got new clarity coming out of the fog so coming to a new in, in new intellect about this and a new understanding about this this situation has really taught you major major lessons and you may have been stuck for a period of time sort of processing these lessons but now i feel like they're finally sticking and you're like knowing your power you're knowing that you can get closure if you need it you could make your own and you can stand in your power here and know that you know new clarities are coming to you because of this you might have not been ready to know some things in the past and that energy being you know so so dreary and stuck and sad over what had happened and now you're like ready for it that's a, that's a good sign it's a good sign of progress in life it's a good sign of growth look at that we've got a new offer a new opportunity comes your way. So all the work that you've done thus far, you are de it's definitely showing. And it's definitely you're going to be getting a reward for this, okay? Like I'm hearing you work so hard, you bust your ass on everything. Your personal life, your career, your job stuff, your family stuff, and all this other stuff with your soul connection person. And it's been very hard on you. But what I'm getting is the struggles are going to be over soon. So like hang in there, baby. And let's get one more card here, sort of from this Magical Times Empowerment cards, because I really like these. Going forward, closing out this reading, what is something that the person watching this video needs to hear or know? So we've got cycles. We are all becoming. Surrender to your changes. Release your fear. Trust this powerful process. Yeah, everything in life comes in cycles, and we have to go with the natural flow. We just said that. We just said that. There was another card that wants to pop out here, too, and I'm trying to almost not let them all fall over, but we've also got awareness. Pay attention to the subtleties. Look with new eyes. There are signs and omens everywhere. Yes, there are. You know, it could be as small as a, a, a butterfly, an insect. It could be a bird that you keep seeing it could be a song on the radio you keep hearing it could be a picture you keep seeing it could be you know a, a, coins are turning up in your house or feathers or any little things in your life that kind of make you go hmm spirits like pay attention to those and we'll leave on one last card we've got exception be open for whatever comes next it might just be the music your heart's been waiting to hear oh i love that take care guys thanks for watching don't forget to like and subscribe check my description box for my private reading information if you're interested and also links for my twin flame separation support group on facebook if you're interested in that soul connections and separation is very difficult and the group is a great place that's private to talk about your experiences and i will see you guys in the next reading don't forget to subscribe i'm trying to get to 5,000 guys help me out thanks for watching